Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Biogas. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, I'll do a quick recap since I haven't done a video in a little while of my setup, but today we're going to be compressing a thousand litres of biogas into a 45 kilo tank. Now this may be a little dark, a bit messy, I haven't been down here in a little while. Uh, this is the first tank which has a top feeder pipe there and the gas that comes out of there into a little makeshift uh, airlock. Um, valves. This is the second tank. This is my new design, which had a side feeding tube and a side exit tube. So this one will actually have a layer of emptiness at the top. So if there's any sludge build up, it won't block off any of the, uh, the gas valves, which is just under here, the insulation. It's winter time here in Australia, so I've got the aquarium heaters in and the insulation wrap to keep it warm, to keep all those good bacteria warm. And this is the holding tank, so this isn't heated, this is just where the extra little bit of uh, breakdown occurs, and then of course out and into my barrel here, which then I use on my garden, or I sell off. This is the scrubbing units here that I've got. Um, yeah, quick recap of that. So both of these tanks are hooked up by one pipe that comes into this, which contains water and bleach. Now this will scrub out the carbon dioxide in the gas. And then furthermore, it goes whoop, into here, which is my old hydrogen generator, which has steel wool at the top, and then kitty litter clay pellets at the bottom. So this will actually scrub out the hydrogen sulfide gas, which causes a nasty smell and the corrosion of your tanks and your burning apparatus. And the kitty litter there will get any of uh, the water vapour that you don't want in the tanks as well. And then as a secondary, I've just got another pipe here that's got the steel wool in there just to remove a bit more gas. And of course, this all gets pumped into this big bag, which I picked up from a winery. There's a video on this. Uh, this cost me $30 off a Facebook marketplace from a wine around here. For compressing, I use this cheap and nasty bloody air compressor that I found in the shed. Uh, it's actually decommissioned the tank, so it's just running from the motor itself. So I've got a hose for the inlet. That was just a barb fitting, bang, straight into that where I'll hook it up to that and then you can turn the valve on. Uh, so, this is also a video on this, uh, just fittings I could find to match up into my connector piece here, which has a pressure gauge, unfortunately it only goes to 160, I know these tanks can go up to about two, 260, uh, that's propane though. Compressing uh, biogas into that sort of pressure has to be cooled and it's not really viable for backyard setups. So quite a hard process requiring uh, liquid nitrogen and, and that, so I'm not doing that. Uh, yep, POL fitting into that. So I'm going to get started, I'm going to hook this up and uh, we'll see if this whole bag can fit into the 45 kilo tank. Alright, so I've just got my hose connected into the intake, outtake, into there, it's plugged in screwed in and just make sure it's all nice and tight nice and tight now the idea is this you don't want any oxygen in here so you can flip these connections around to create a vacuum to suck out the air or you can pump it in and then exhaust it out pump it in exhaust it out but that's a bit time consuming and uh i know this has already got no oxygen in it anyway because i've used it before all right so i'm gonna get started now, open. open. And, uh, pressure gauge is going off. So this will go on for quite a while. This will actually start to get pretty hot, but I haven't seen any damage or anything occur from it, so I'll just let it go. I'll check back in with you later. Right, so we're four minutes in, the bag is shrinking. around the 
60 to 80 mile. Well, I figure while I'm waiting around, like this small bag here, a bit of biogas in it from the top of the, uh, you know, the holding tank. So let's give this a bit of a burn to see how good it runs. Yeah, look at that. I don't think you ever get tired of it. It's nifty. Turning food waste into uh, fuel. It's great. So we're 12 minutes in and uh, it's ending. It's great. The higher the PSI goes in the tank, the longer it takes to compress in. I've noticed that, so I'm quite expecting this rest of it to take another half hour, or well not another half hour, but up to half hour at the moment. We're sitting around 130 PSI. I'm very confident that I'll get all of it in. The needle may go off the scale a little bit, but uh, we'll see that when we get to it. 26 minutes in. We're looking pretty empty. I'll get a few more minutes. Just get that last bit out. As I said, about half an hour. Let's close this valve off quickly. So that, well it's blurry, but it was just over 160. And uh, it's uh, pretty empty. So that's good. Good, good, good. So that was a good effort, half an hour for a thousand litres, one cubic metre of gas. Uh, I will do another video on using it and see how long that tank lasts. Um, if anyone watching that hasn't subscribed already, please do, it helps me out. Uh, makes me motivated to do more videos and keep answering questions in the comments section. So thanks for that and have a good day. Just a PS note. If there's anything that I can pass on to people that are watching is that this biogas, it doesn't have to be rocket science. Anyone can do it. I'm just a dude in a shed with some plastic tubs. If you've got the motivation to learn and do it, it can be really rewarding, especially for when you start filling the tanks with a bit of manure to get started and then getting burnable gas. That's a great feeling and turning food waste into usable gas for cooking and fertilizer. So if there's, if there's anything I can give away, it's that. So give it a go. It's not, it doesn't have to be hard. Um, yeah, look forward to hearing about everyone's experiences in the comments.